Hi, I'm Liz McDonald, teaching for my studio, Brazilian Yoga and Pilates in Los Angeles, here to show you Mountain Pose. Now, Mountain Pose isn't just standing. It may look like it's just standing, but it's not. Why? Because standing for most of us means hanging out, this is my cool pose, right? But what we're after in mountain pose is we're after symmetry, the kind of symmetry that could stand like a mountain. So we want to make yourself very comfortable in the position and we also want to look for great posture. The other thing about mountain pose and the reason why it's so important in the yoga practice is because we believe it is a foundation for all other poses. So in any other pose, whether it's bakasana or sidearm balance, we always are searching for that symmetrical alignment. It's almost like we're trying to return to that perfect design of symmetry in our bodies when we stand. And it's a great thing to be able to train so that next time you are waiting in line at the grocery store or wherever, instead of standing into a pose that could start creating problems in the body, you're going to revert to mountain pose, which is a pose that you can sustain and hopefully maintain a little bit more of your calm in. If you're like me, waiting in lines can sometimes induce a little bit of anxiety. So I go into mountain pose and take a few breaths to regroup. All right, so talking about the alignment of mountain pose is the number one thing. We want our hips to be directly over our feet so our feet are hip width apart. We want our feet to be straight. And what that means in the yogi world is that the knuckle of the second toe lines up to the middle of the back of the heel. So it should look just like the number 11 when you're looking down at it. Then the shoulder girdle is nicely balanced over the pelvis. Our gaze is forward and our palms might even face the front of the room. By doing this, we can open up the collarbone across the front. And the real magic of mountain pose happens when you start to embody the mountain. Take a few breaths and start to see the body circumductively. Imagine it expanding in the front, sides, and back, evenly in all directions, as if you were looking at a mountain from above. And the idea is to become so comfortable in our own alignment that we could stand here forever and be pain-free. Now, most people do not succeed at mountain pose, so I'm gonna spice it up a little bit and include a block. And this will help a lot of us that have flat feet, right, to start to really discover the expansiveness of mountain pose. It's a really common movement pathology because of shoes for our arches to be collapsed and for our feet to be flat. When that happens, what also happens is that the knees start to knock and the whole midline begins to sag. People who've been standing this way their whole life will start to develop bunions and other things later on in life. So a great thing that Mountain Pose can offer us is rebuilding the arches in the foot, which is going to be a fantastic gift for the rest of the body because the feet are the foundation upon which the rest of the house is built. So let's take a block and we're gonna put it right between the thighs. Now positioning the block here, we're gonna stack ourselves up nice and straight again and externally rotate the thighs. So they're going to begin swirling outwards toward the side of the mat so that the block feels like it's coming forward. In fact, it is, but you can feel that happening on the inner thighs. Once that happens, the arches in the feet turn on and all of the leg muscles start to stack up your solid foundation. Once we have that, we can find a little bit more freedom in the upper body. So you may wanna wiggle out the shoulders or roll out the neck a little bit until you find that place of perfect peace where you can close your eyes and take a few really deep, connected breaths. You can stand in mountain pose forever, but I say once you have found the feeling of the mountain and that sense of expansiveness, 
then you have mastered mountain pose and can take it out into the world, into the grocery store or the gas station, wherever you most need it. I'm Liz, teaching from my studio, Brazilian Yoga and Pilates in Los Angeles. Thank you so much for watching.